Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Most LG built-in air conditioner repairs will require some disassembly of the unit. To fully disassemble and reassemble the air conditioner, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, a 7mm socket, pliers, and a putty knife. Before you begin the disassembly, unplug the unit's power cord. To access the unit's air filter, remove the inlet cover by detaching it from the top first. You can now pull the air filter up and out. To access components behind the front grill, use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the grill assembly. Pull the assembly out from the bottom, then lift up to detach. Disconnect the wire connector to fully remove the assembly. If you need to replace the display board, unthread the two screws securing the display board cover. Detach the wires from the retaining clip to remove the cover. Next, unthread the two mounting screws, securing the display board itself. Now disconnect the wire connector from the Wi-Fi board to fully release the old display board assembly. Reinstall or replace the display board by aligning it in the frame, then thread the upper left and lower right mounting screws to secure. Position the cover and thread the two remaining screws. Secure the wires under the retaining clip and connect the wire connector to the Wi-Fi board. To replace the left or right vertical louver fins, first push the ends of the horizontal louver to detach it from the grill frame. Now detach the link from the top of the fins. You can now use the putty knife to help detach the pins securing the three fins. When installing a new vertical louver assembly, align the mounting pins of the fin with the lever in the far right or far left slots in the horizontal louver and snap them into place. Repeat to install the other two fins. With the fins installed, align the link and snap it onto the fins. Now align the flat right side of the horizontal louver first. Snap the assembly into place in the center support. Then snap the left side of the assembly into position. To reach components like the fan motor, transformer, or the main control board, you will need to fully uninstall the unit. If required, use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two rear mounting screws, securing the unit to its cabinet.
unthread the two front screws located on the left and right sides of the cabinet near the bottom. Now have an assistant help you to fully remove the unit from the cabinet and set it on a towel or blanket. To access the condenser fan blade, use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the four screws, securing the support bracket. Set the bracket aside. Now move the control board housing out of the way. Next, unthread the two screws securing the condenser to the base. Unthread the two left side screws as well as the two right side screws securing the shroud to the condenser. Finally, unthread the two screws securing the shroud to the base. Use the small flathead screwdriver to depress the tabs to detach the shroud from the condenser. Now carefully lift the condenser up and move it out of the way without damaging the tubing. Use the pliers to remove the retaining clamp securing the condenser fan blade. You can now pull the fan blade off of the motor shaft. If you need to replace the fan motor, set the shroud aside. Next, unthread the two screws securing the surface box cover. Slide the cover forward and up to remove. Detach the thermistor wires from the venting retaining clips. Now move the service box out of the way so you can unthread the screws securing the venting. Unthread the left side screws securing the venting and move the venting out of the way. Now unthread the two left side screws securing the blower housing to the evaporator. Unthread the right side screw. Carefully pull the evaporator forward so you can access the turbo fan blade retaining clamp. Use the pliers to remove the clamp. Now use the 7 mm socket to unthread the four mounting screws, securing the fan motor to the mounting bracket. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, Unthread the screws securing the control board housing cover and remove the cover. Disconnect the fan motor wire connector from the board. Release the wire from the retaining bracket and you can fully remove the old motor. To install the new fan motor, Align it on the bracket as you insert the shaft through the turbo fan blade. Thread and tighten the four mounting screws to secure the motor to the bracket.
Connect the fan motor wire connector to the control board and secure the wire in the retaining bracket. Replace the control board housing cover and thread the screw to secure. Next, replace the retaining clamp to secure the turbo fan blade to the new motor shaft. Carefully reposition the evaporator. Thread the right side screw to secure the evaporator to the blower housing. Thread the two left side screws as well. Realign the venting and thread the left side screw. Thread the right side screw to fully secure the venting. Then reposition the surface box and secure the two thermistor wires in the venting retaining clips. Align the service box cover tabs with the slots and push the cover back. Rethread the two mounting screws. Continue the reassembly by partially repositioning the condenser shroud. Realign the condenser fan blade on the new motor shaft. Then replace the retaining clamp to secure. Carefully reposition the condenser in the base. Snap the shroud into place on the condenser. Rethread the screws to secure the shroud to the base. Next, rethread the left and right side screws to secure the shroud to the condenser. Thread the two screws to secure the condenser to the base. Reposition the control board housing. Reposition the support bracket and thread the screws to secure. Now slide the air conditioning unit back into the cabinet. Rethread the front screws on the left and right sides to secure. Securing the unit with the rear cabinet screws is optional. Reinstall the front grill assembly by first connecting the wire connector. Make sure the vent lever is accessible just below the horizontal louver as you insert the upper tabs into the slots in the frame. Then position and snap the sides of the grill into place. Rethread the two mounting screws to secure.
Realign the air filter by positioning the bottom edge first, then snap the top of the filter into place. Align the inlet cover hinge tabs with the slots in the grill assembly, then snap the top portion of the cover into position. With the unit fully reassembled, plug the power cord back in, and the air conditioner should be ready for use.